Good day guys, Bing here. Um, so today we're going to try this one. So how can I create a roof with real tile size? Um, okay, in reality the L2, uh, edge must be a smaller number. Yep, okay, so um, yeah, so this is usually when we create a, a surface like this one and uh, uh, because this is a curved surface and uh, when we use a divided surface or, or follow the shape of this um, but I'll just a screenshot of this so how can we achieve I'll just do this right so how can we achieve like all, all the tiles uh, a similar size and then oh sorry yeah how can we achieve how can we do this? This pattern. Um, yes. So what we need to do is so imagine this the length of this edge. So we just need to increase this one to here, right? But then again, so we we create this surface, and then we just need to cut this bit, cut this bit. Okay. So let me show you. Uh, okay, so let's uh, we're going to maybe just use a conceptual conceptual mass for this one. Um, okay, uh, okay, let's start. So, okay, so very simple uh, exercise. Um, maybe I'll do a a, a, a sweep, right? So I'll use a reference. Reference line star and radius arc, which are word plan. So I'll use this level as a word plan, something like this. Okay, and then uh, I place a point, draw a face onto this. Maybe we can just maybe we can just move this point to this end. Okay, so now see this word plan. So we're going to place a uh, maybe just do a triangular shape. Uh, okay, so this is one one profile. Right, so we can copy this and pick new host and place it here. So now, if we, if we select this one, this one, and together with this path, and we can create this shape. Now, I'm going to just to show you. I'll just scale this down, like to here, a little bit smaller. Right. Now we have this surface. Okay. So if if we use divided surface, we will create a pattern like this one right so maybe I'll just change this to maximum spacing maximum spacing uh, maybe um, two meter for example and two meter for this one as well so just create almost a, a square shape but of course so we can see here it become uh, like yeah rectangular shape because because uh, where we try to keep the num the same number here, right? So, so what we need to do to achieve this is, um, let me think how, how what's the best way to do it. Uh, maybe maybe I'll leave it here. I'll copy this one, copy everything, CC, copy it here to here. Now I'm going to just delete this divider surface and also maybe. Uh, maybe i'll increase this to match this one okay so i'll ch just check the size of this what's what's the length of this line uh that's <laughs> that's fine maybe i'll just select the, oh yeah maybe it's easier i'll just delete the form so it's easier to to do it i'll see if i can dimension this one and uh, yeah we can just type in a number so i'll maybe just make it 18 18 meter right and then go to here. We can select this one. Uh, we don't have a dimension, but that's fine. I'll just set word plan onto this point so I can do a dimension di. So at least I can use the dimension to control the size. It's much easier, right? So, okay, so now we have these two. So, uh, and these two. And what we need is we just need, um, imagine we need also need to create a form of uh, um, uh, void, right? So so with this one, two, three, uh, we can create a, f a solid, but we still need to create a form. 
how can we do that? Mm, let me let me check. I'll check the size here. So I'll just drag this with this to here. So I know. Uh, let's just make. Uh, maybe I'll just make it nine meter so it's easier. All right, half. So let's just add a line. So I'll just copy this one to the middle. So now we have a half. All right. So drag it down, and eventually this is the solid part, and this will be the void part. So um, uh, let me think. Or how to do it? So do the solid that would be fine. Do the void. Uh, we need to. Yeah, I'll try to. Uh, I'll, I'll actually, I try to split this reference line trim tr. So now they become all individual lines instead of you know like a uh, 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 full length. Um, I'll try to see if I can just create a form from this. Yes, we can, but. Looks like this create uh, some. Now nah, this is not what we want because now these are these are separate surface. So looks like we we still need a full length line here and another full length here. So let's control Z. Um, uh, <laughs> so okay, so that's fine. That's easy enough. So let let me try to see if I can create a. a a uh, 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 void form. So yeah, we don't have a, but we don't have a void. We don't have a profile here. I guess we need to add something. So maybe I'll just uh, copy this one to the left by a meter, maybe, All right? And then I'll just extend, trim this, and split SL, trim again. Uh, now we have this. Oh, we don't have this. So let's just trim SL split trim TR again. Now we have this. So at least we have this profile here, right? And then we can pick this profile here, not this one, this one. Control select, and also control select this path. So we can create this curved shape. Okay. So with this one, we can we can. Just make it void, but I'll just leave it for now. So uh, now I want to create a solid, uh, solid. Um, oh, actually, here. Yeah, another way. Actually, another way is we can just do a, do a like extrusion. I think uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it later. I think that's it's probably easier. But for this one, we already because we already have these profiles. Maybe we can just do another one. Uh, use the same uh, similar uh, method. So now let's. Um, I'll just copy this one. I'll select, select, try to select. Um, oh, actually, we don't need. Do we need? Yeah, we need this one, but we we actually don't need this one. We need a full length. So let's. I'll tap select this one and drag this to this end. And also, I'll tap. I'll tap select this one. Drag this to this end. Okay, so yeah, so this is it, and then we can just select this profile. So see this triangular shape. This one, control select, and this one, control select. This one, we uh, can create a form, solid form, and go back to that the previous one, solid. Pre uh, not this one, this one, and uh, we can just change it to a void. In it, okay, move it around. Uh, doesn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, see, it will cut. Now we have this. Uh, I don't know why it's still visible. No, it's not. <laughs> so now we can tab, tab, select this surface and create a divided surface. Now you can see they're different. So I change it to maximum spacing, maximum spacing two meter, two meter, and two meter. Okay. So see. So in this one, they are. The size are quite different from this end to this end, but in this one, these size are very similar, at least at the same you know level. Okay, so another let, let, let's quickly uh, let me just quickly show you another one. Uh, okay, so I copy this one CC to here. And uh, I'll just maybe I'll uh, yeah I'll just select this point, and I'll just drag this to here. Change this one to 18 meter, okay. And then do the same. Select this one, 
uh, we don't have a dimension but that's fine I'll just do it manually pick this one try again nah di try to pick a uh, hell yeah. so there's an edge yeah I'm not sure actually I'll just do it and hopefully it's on the reference line but looks like it's not <laughs> and maybe I'll just tab once place it still not T tab twice three times four times oh, doesn't work but yeah anyway so let's just that's fine so maybe we can just do it manually so we can type R E scale pick this point pick here and then no type 18 meter okay so that's fine so same so now we can just go to the top right so go to the top and what, what we can do is we can just you know we we don't have uh, we don't have a, a, a arc here so I'll just do an arc star and radius arc set uh, should be on the uh, on a reference line no change it to level okay so now I'll just add manually add one here and star ends radius arc so this is one one arc and I'll, we just need another one so roughly so I start from this same same uh, end maybe just put this this is a little bit tricky part because I don't know what you know this uh, radius need to be don't know so I guess just you know just do it like this and then again just place another line between these two ends so now we have three reference line okay on the level floor level so we can just create a form and then just as as long as you know it's uh, tall enough it will cut this and ah oh, we still have that pattern oh it looks like we need to just delete it and uh, uh, what's going on here uh, yeah I don't know how about how about I'll just sorry I'll delete this one no hell control Z ah yeah looks like there's a little bit funny stuff going on I'll delete that void and then do another void okay and see we still have this surface not so now we can tab tab pick and divide the surface so we can have a uh, very similar very similar uh, uh, result but however however the curve might not be right so this so this curve is created automatically uh, from a, from a, from a, a sweep with two profiles right but this one is a manual we did it we did this curve manually so it's it might not be right but at least you can it's easier for you to adjust if you want to right so you can see adjust you can adjust this um, oh hell what's this uh, that's not right anyway so this is it so um okay so recap uh, in this ex exercise we we tried uh, we tried to, to uh, use a void to cut us cut to cut this form so we can achieve the result this result okay, instead of having this pattern okay so that's all uh, if you have any questions please let me know I'll see you next time thank you bye